the birth of computation. We could trace the origins of AI right back to the myths and legends of artificial life in classical antiquity and beyond, or we could trace them back to the more recent religious and literary stories of Golem and Frankenstein. <clears throat> Likewise, we could trace them back to the development of formal reasoning and philosophy without the field of logic, for example, founded by Aristotle, we would not have the modern computer, and without att the attempts of Leibniz to reduce human thought to some form of calculation, we would not have computers performing human-like reasoning. Or again, we could trace it back to the developments in mathematics without the algebraic operations formalized by George Boole, we would not have the Boolean logic that underpins computation. Alternatively, if we were to limit ourselves to the domain of computer science, we could trace the origins of AI back to figures such as the British polymath, Charles Babbage, who was a, uh, uh, both a, 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 an inventor and also a professor at the University of Cambridge. And indeed, there is now a lecture theatre there and they renamed after him the Babbage Lecture Theatre. Charles Babbage was responsible for inventing, but not realizing, at least not in his lifetime, two mechanical forms of computer. The difference engine, which essentially was a mechanical calculator, a sort of uh, a mathematical calculator, and then the more advanced uh, notion, the, the advanced design for the analytic engine, which was also not realized, but comes much closer to the universal computer that we have today. Babbage was accompanied in his research by a remarkable young lady, Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace was a brilliant mathematician. Famously, she was also the daughter of the equally talented but somewhat scandalous poet, Lord Byron, who abandoned uh, Ada Lovelace and her mother, who was also a brilliant mathematician, when at Lovelace was only a few months old and left England never to return, except when he was to be buried at the end of his life. And here is Ada Lovelace appearing on Doctor Who. And some comments from her own words. The analytical engine weaves algebraic patterns just as a jacquard loom weaves flowers and leaves. Supposing, for instance, that the fundamental relations of pitch sounds in the, the science of harmony and of musical composition were susceptible of such expression adaptations, the engine might compose elaborate and scientific pieces of music of any degree of complexity or extent. One can imagine that the daughter of a poet would take such a poetic stance towards the computer. But she was also was famous for being understood as being the first person who comprehended the possibility of programming. In the note that she made on the analytic, analytic engine, she makes some references that people have interpreted as the first remarks about the potential of software. Now, in that quote, she mentions the Jacquard loom. The Jacquard loom was played a very important role in the Industrial Revolution in the United Kingdom, and you can see it here on the left-hand side. What you might not notice is that above the loom is a contraption that is seemingly feeding a series of punch cards, seen here on the right-hand side, punch cards that controlled the loom. Now, interesting, Interestingly, the, the punch cards survived as a mechanism right up into the 1960s. I was a student at Cambridge working in the computer science department above the Babbage Lecture Theatre in the 1980s. And I remember seeing some of these punch cards. These are IBM punch cards that until then, till, till, well, right up to till fairly recently, had been used to program the computers. And Ada Lovelace is, is significant for other reasons too. Here we have um, two women who were operating in the 1950s on one of the 1960s, sorry, on one of the early 
forms of computer. The remarkable things about this, of course, is the size, the scale of those, these early computers. But what is really important about this is there's a whole history of contributions to the development of the computer by women such as this that have not been told. Women such as Ada Lovelace and so on have been recognized, but there are many others who have not been recognized. In fact, Sadie Plant produced a book called Zeros and Ones about the role of women in the history of computation. And the title says it all, Zeros and Ones. Women have been overlooked and the contributions that they made throughout history have not been sufficiently recognized. Indeed, while we find out, we have since found out about the contribution of Alan Turing in developing the computer, a contribution that was, was kept quiet about because of the Official Secrets Act, no one knew about it at the time. Equally, there are many women who were not even mentioned who were part of this whole history. Jenny Sabin has recently completed an interactive installation, which she did uh, with Microsoft, um, and has named it after Ada to try and recognize the important role that women played in the history of computation.